Hello my dear friends, this is a painting cat. My name is Catherine. Welcome on my channel. Here you can find and learn how to paint with acrylic. What we need to paint it? We need acrylic paints, brushes and palette knives, and of course, we need to choose the proper material we're going to use for it. So, let's see what choice we have. First, I want to start from the very popular one. This is a canvas on board. You can see it's a kind of thing, especially compare to the canvas stretched on a frame. But this one is cheaper and it's more affordable if you're looking for pretty nice and quality material to learn. Techniques, new kind of acrylic paints, new brushes or palette knives. Any experiments you want to do, you can do it on this one, on a stretched on board. And after, if you're sure in yourself, you can change for canvas on frame. Let's turn it back. What we have here, it's of course the size, the most important. Uh, I'd say this one kind of small, so if you're looking for good size for nice detailing, let's check this rose, it's a 30, 30 centimeters, and still look, some water drops too tiny. So if you're planning to work following tutorial with a nice detailing, go for at least 30 centimeter one side size. This one small, yes, but it's uh, more comfy to demonstrate uh, the type of material. Most of the time it's already uh, covered with acrylic gesso and it's ready to paint. And you can see here it's a cotton. Same here, sometimes you can find a synthetic one. But to be honest, I can recommend to you cotton canvas, it's smooth enough and I like this quality. Another type, it's a canvas on board. Let's turn it. And you can see here a wooden frame. This one more expensive, I'd say, and uh, it depends what kind of canvas you choose. This is a cotton. And this one is linen. Uh, I'd say linen uh, fits nicely for oil, especially if you like to work, you like to cover canvas with a thick amount of paint. Yes, go for linen. Other way, you can choose cotton, and I like it for smooth, very, very smooth surface. Guess it can be oil or acrylic, and for acrylic painting, you have to pick up the acrylic one. Also, I had some questions about it. For what we have here, this tiny sized C, like a part of a construction. Most of the time you can find this wooden, like a huge toothpicks. You can put it here, like this, and you can uh, use a hammer to put it deeper and why it's needed. Sometimes canvas can lose this stretch. So it's flopping, you know, it's not very tight on the uh, frame. So this wooden pieces handy in this time. But to be honest, uh, at least for this size or this small one, I'd never use it. And uh, I'd say for small sizes, as we usually choosing for tutorials, it's a 20, 30, 30, 40 like this. Um, this pieces never need it. This type of surface is the most expensive one and I can recommend it if you're planning to create a painting as a gift or you want to sell it or you want to use it as a part of uh, interior for example. It's looking pretty cool, you know. I like this thick sides. And the third one I want to demonstrate today, this is a paper. So why I love paper so much and why I want to recommend it to you. 
It's still very close to canvas. Take a look. Isn't it singular? Some paper can have more gentle texture but still visible. Look, it's very helping to us to detail especially for foreground. It has a nice quality. You can easily cut it in any size you need. For example, take a look here. It was A3. I cut it in a half and got A4. I want to start with two of my favorites. It's a Dalen Romy and it's a Hannah Miller. It's nice for oil, acrylic, watercolor, gouache, any type of paints you want to try. What nice to have here, acid free. It's important because acid can ruin the uh, layer of paints later. So take a look here, be careful, paper need to be acid free. Also, it's a kind of thick. This is 230 and this is 250 grams. Uh, this one thicker, this one thinner. I love the both of them. Let's see the different texture. This one more visible. Look. And this is the result you can get from it. Let's take a look on a Hannah Muller texture. I'd say it's more gentle. See, slightly visible. And let's take a look on a final result. Here, isn't it looking adorable? Take a look. It's easily done with a dry brush stroke. So it's a very, very helping to us to detail foreground. As for me, I like more rough texture of a canvas, so I love this one, which is Dollar Rooney. And the last one I want to demonstrate to you, it's my local type of paper. It's uh, usually possible to get here where I'm living. It's a Palazzo Calling White Rose for watercolor, but it's nice for acrylic. I'd say it's a thick steel, acid free. But color not white. Take a look compared to Dollar Rooney. This is white and this color looking flux. So it's pale yellow. I love it. I love the texture on it. It's very similar to Hannah Muller, but price more affordable, especially because I'm getting big size A3 and cut it in a half. And both of these paintings, it's done on this paper. The only issue with the paper, it's a framing. Canvas on board or canvas on a frame, it's a heavy enough. It can be placed on a wall immediately without any framing. But paper, way too soft, isn't it? So let me demonstrate to you how I like to frame it. I need some space because I want to demonstrate a frame to you also. This is a standard size Passepartout from IKEA. So we can cover it on top. And after all we have to do is put a frame on top. That's it. Looking pretty nice, isn't it? What I can tell you, my friends, if you're following tutorials, you can exchange materials depends what you have with you if you haven't canvas stretched on a frame right now and i use it in my acrylic tutorial it's mean you can change this surface for paper or a canvas on board you always can make a choice between this three and your painting lesson will be still successful, doesn't matter if it's a canvas textured paper, canvas on board or a frame one, because we will have a singular surfaces to work with. It was a painting cat. I wish you all the best and I hope to meet you on my acrylic tutorials. Bye bye.